everybody welcome to my video today we are going to look at three different fancy fold cards and then at the very end I'm going to show you a fourth one and then I'm going to show you I'll give you a link where to go to see that one so here's the deal you guys you know I like simple things and I don't like things that are difficult or that I struggle with and these fancy fold cards are one of those things that I just don't always love so I have really put off making this video for you guys so what I've done um, so that on camera it's a little bit easier for myself I have all of my measurements and I'm gonna show you how everything goes together and then our other cards I'm just gonna show you and give you measurements I'm not gonna do them on camera because it's just gonna be too frustrating for me so this is the first one we're gonna do and we are going to use the good morning magnolia stamp and the one thing that I did find with these fancy fold cards is I would get into making them and I would make the whole card and then I'd be like, what, well, what am I going to stamp? Like, how am I going to like put a sentiment on this? Or I just would get really caught up with the fancy fold part. And then I wouldn't think through like how the other pieces of the card were going to come together because normally I start with the stamping part. Like I start with the stamp I'm going to use and the design and then I do the card. So that was the other thing that I struggled a little bit with. So for this particular card, I'm going to show you two different designs for it. But what we're going to do on camera here is we're going to use the Magnolia Lane designer paper. So you're going to need to start with a piece that is five and a half by 12 inches. So you do need 12 by 12 paper to do this particular fancy fold card. So you'll need five and a half by 12 and out of a 12 by 12 piece of paper you're going to be able to get two of these kinds of cards so what you're going to want to look for is a piece of designer paper that um, you like the designs on both sides because both sides of the designer paper you're going to see so for this one um, I have the stripes on this side and then I have the floral on this side and then for this side I made sure the stripes were going this way because we're gonna be folding it and you're gonna be seeing the stripes this way so I didn't want them to go this way they could but I just wanted to be aware that they were going this way so we're starting out with a piece of five and a half by 12 and then what we're gonna do is score it at one inch and three quarters so I'm just using my score piece on my trimmer. The other thing you can do is just take your bone folder and run it right down your, your um, paper. So one and three quarters. Then we're going to score it at four and three quarters. And make sure you don't press too hard on your designer paper um, because it will tear. You know, designer paper is a little bit you know, thinner than our cardstock. And then we're gonna score it at seven and three quarters. So I'm gonna hold this sticky note right up for you guys in case you wanna write that down or you want, you missed it. So we're gonna start with five and a half by 12. We're gonna score at one and three quarter, four and three quarter, and then seven and three quarter, okay? That's my first sticky note. I had to write sticky notes for all of these because I did this several times and I struggled you guys okay so now let's just fold so we can fold and then use our bone folder to get a good crease with the designer paper you sort of don't have to worry about it because it's so thin it folds really well so now you can make a choice of how which what design you want where so if you want it to look like this and you want to have more of the pink showing you can do that or what we're going to do is we're going to have more of this floral image showing and we're going to have the pink here and then it opens like this okay so let's zoom in and then i'm going to show you how we put the layers together because that's the basic part of the card so our first piece is going to be five and a quarter by four because this is just a normal this first layer is just a normal size card okay it's five and a half 
by four and a quarter. So our first layer inside our card is just gonna take a quarter inch off. And I'm using basic black for this inside layer. You could use pink if you wanted. So our next layer is gonna be, um, okay, so let me see, I gotta get this right in order. Okay, so the next one is gonna be two and three quarters by five and a quarter. Okay, I'll show you guys these. Let's keep these on here just so that we know which one because our next one, now this is petal pink and it's gonna go in our next I panel. Keeping the sticky notes on here for each piece we're doing will be helpful for you to see the measurements. It's also helpful for me. And then we have this. So now these two pieces right here, four and a quarter by three and a half is petal pink and then four by three and a quarter and this is going to be a layer and this is where we're going to do our stamping so we're going to take our magnolia lane and we're going to do this design right here now i'm going to keep it really simple because our designer paper you can see it's a lot like there's a lot going on here so i don't want to have to do an image that i'm going to do a bunch of coloring with or that's really going to distract from the designer paper the fun part of the card is the designer paper and the fun fold. So I'm just gonna set this on some grid paper and then this is on a really big block so it's a little hard to manage here. And then we're gonna put this right in the Your design corner. on there. It's really gorgeous. And then we're gonna take our petal pink and this just says thinking of you it doesn't have a sticker on it but that's what it says and then hopefully i'm going to get this straight on here if you oh, see my came out straight it didn't <laughs> look how crooked that is you guys it actually doesn't look horrible because of the way the flower is so i think i'm going to leave it but you might want it to be a little straighter i think it sort of works <laughs> When I show you the sample that I made, you'll see that I stamped it a little straighter. Okay, so again, this one is four and a quarter by three and a half is our petal pink. And then our whisper white is four by three and one quarter. So we're just taking off a quarter inch and making this panel right here again we're not going to color it or anything so then we'll bring our card back over and we are going to put this right here so now what i'm going to do is add some ribbon here so you can either add this first and then add the ribbon over it or you can add it first and put this over the ribbon like so so I'm going to add this first and we're going to have it right here. So we'll put our adhesive here. And just because it's hanging off, I want to put a good amount of adhesive on there. And then I want it to come out all the way. So I want to line it up here. Like where the black is, that's where I'm going to make sure everything's lined up. So it's kind of in the middle of this black piece. So we'll press that down. And so then this is our fun fold card. This is the way it's going to open up. You could put a panel here if you wanted. You could put a whisper white piece here and do your and write your message right there. Um, or you can write your message here. You would just use maybe a silver pen or a white pen. Or you could put another layer there. Okay, so next we're going to put our ribbon here, and for this ribbon, I usually don't tie an actual bow, but I'm actually going to tie a bow for this particular card because I feel like that's what looks best. I did not leave enough 
of ribbon to really make that a nice bow. I can't get my fingers on there to tighten it um, because I already trimmed that, but I'll show you um, another one where the bow is a little bit prettier. So here is this fun fold card and it just kind of goes like that. So here's the very first one and you can see my bow is a lot prettier, but it's the same design. It's just the one that I did um, the first, well, this is actually about my third one that I've done for this. So there's those. And then here's a really pretty design. And this is one that I did with the paper. And then I was like, okay, what am I going to stamp on it now? Like, what do I do? <laughs> so here's, I mean, it looks pretty, but I have no clue as to what to stamp on the panel to make this an actual card. But this is with the bird um, I forget the name of it. It's bird something paper and it's really gorgeous with the pink and the polka dot. I love like this bird design. And then you can also see that the orientation of the paper I did wrong, but you can't really tell when it's closed like that. But I love this kind of design within the polka dots inside. I feel like it's so gorgeous. So this is my favorite one if there was something stamped on it. Okay, so let me show you the second card that I did with a fun fold. And that is with this stamp set here. And we're not going to make this on camera. I'm just going to show you. This is the Check You Out stamp set. And I made this card right here. My adhesive came off a little tiny bit. So we have this stamped part here. I just stamped just a little note. And then I did Bermuda Bay for the owl. And then the same for the heart. I did Coastal Cabana cardstock. And then I stamped in... Um, Bermuda Bay to match this designer paper and then this is how the card opens up okay so this no, one, I don't know the measurements of this one I'll put it on the screen down here so you just it's super simple here is let me show you guys here's all of the card stock I went through trying to make this card so here's this one that I tried folding. Here's this one. Here's all the cardstock I kept cutting wrong. Like I couldn't figure out the orientation, so I kept cutting it wrong. So I don't know, I went through like six or seven things of Whisper White cardstock before I got it right. The thing with this one is, the reason I know why now I don't have the measurements. So with this fancy fold, the measurements of where you score this, I never could get it to line up correctly. So what I did is I'll put the measurements of this piece down. And then what I did is I folded this piece and then I just lined this piece up and folded it so it would meet because I think it's two and three quarters and I just never could get them to line up right when I measured and scored. So by folding one over and then meeting this one, it was a lot easier. And Kayla came in when I was doing this one and I was showing her and she said, oh, I just hate doing anything with three quarters because the, it's so miserable to like get it exact. And I was like, you know what? I agree because it's three different, you know, pieces. So that's, that's why I don't have measurements for this one. So then you just fold it like this and then you do the band around it and it's super simple to do the band. You just wrap the cardstock around it and then let me show you the card that inspired this card. It's this one right here. This is done by Kathy who is part of my Stampin' Up! team and you can join Stampin' Up! right now by purchasing the starter kit for $99 and you get $55 in free product. So that's really amazing. So Kathy created this as a swap card and she used the Daisy product and you see her band is a little bit thinner than mine but you just slide that down and then you open it up and then that's the inside of the card. So I love that Kathy did that and it totally inspired me to make um, my own. So I loved that. So let me just show you the very third card. And this one, I'm literally just going to give you measurements because I about lost my mind trying to make this, you guys. Okay, so here is the fancy fold. Here's the card, and you close it like this, and then it goes like this, and then it goes like this. And you can see there's nothing stamped on it because, again, I got so into making the card. After I made the card, I was like, what am I going to stamp on this? Like, I have no idea what to put on this. So this is the measurements for this. Let me show you. You start out with a five and a half by 10 inch piece of cardstock. So that's this piece right here. You score it 
at four and a quarter and eight and a half. And so that gives you this. So that's how you'll, you will close it. Okay. So then that would be just a cool, fancy fold right there, just with this flap over. Right. So then this piece here is three inches three inches by seven inches, and then you just fold it in half and attach it to this flap. So it's super easy. You start out with an eight and a half by 10 inch piece. That's this piece right here. You score it at four and a quarter, which is where you would normally score your card to make it a card. Then you score at eight and a half, and that's gonna give you this part of the card. Then this part is three inches by seven inches. You fold that in half and you attach it, right? So super simple. And then you have your fancy fold card. You just do your panel inside. So this, the dimensions for all of this I got from Patty Bennett. She did a fancy fold card like this and I looked um, at her directions. Then there's this fancy fold card, which is super cute. Look at this. This card was created by Chris, who is a part of our stamping community. And you open it up like this. And it's super cute, right? So this was also a swap card. And it's so fun. It goes like this. So I reached out to Chris and asked her how she made this, where she found the directions, and she said Dawn Griffith. So down below in the YouTube description, I will put Dawn's post for this card and Patty's post for her card um, so you can see them. And then I'm just going to say, you know, go to people who know what they're doing when it comes to fancy fold cards because I found out very quickly that this is not my forte. Like making the complicated cards is not for me. I think they're beautiful. Don't get me wrong. I think they're gorgeous. I love how they came out, but they're just too complicated for me. Like I just want to get it done. You know, I just want to stamp something, get it done. Feel like I've been successful. Again, thank you guys so much for bearing with me as I kind of made a mess of this video, sharing these fat fancy fold cards with you. There's this one right here that was created by Chris. There is this one here that was created by Kathy. I put the band back on here. Here is my owl card that I created. I'm copying Kathy's card here. And then here is this really fun one that has no stamping, but a beautiful bow, right? So then here's the one with the Magnolia Lane and definitely with better stamping, it's much straighter. And that one opens up like that. And then here is this one that is a really fun, fancy fold and really actually simple when you break the measurements down, but I had no idea what to stamp on this. And the designer paper I used, I'll put up on the screen here. Um, it's really gorgeous gorgeous designer paper and great for cards like this. So those are all of my fancy fold cards. I hope you enjoyed seeing this, you guys. Thank you so much for sticking with me through this video, and I'll be back to share with you again. I hope you're having a wonderful summer and a wonderful day. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me today and watching my videos. Here are two other of my most recent videos. I would love for you guys to subscribe to my channel and give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. I will catch you in my next video. I hope you all have a wonderful day.